Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. This is yet another video in the USB series of STM32, and today we will see how to use communication class in USB. I will show the working of both, host and device. For the host, I am using Discovery F411 microcontroller, and STM32 F103 for the device. Let's start by creating a project for the host first. Like I mentioned, I am using Discovery F411 for the host. Give some name here, and click Finish. I will clear the pinouts first. I am selecting the external crystal for the clock. In the USB OTG setup, set the mode as host only, and also enable the V-Bus. Host is responsible to give the power to the device, and that's why we need the V-Bus to do so. You can see, two pins for the USB, and one for the V-Bus got selected here. This here is the schematics for this board. As you can see, the bus is connected to this IC here, which can be controlled from the PC0 pin. When we pull the PC0 to low, the enable pin gets activated, and so does the voltage to the V bus. So, I will set the PC0 to low here. Now go to USB host, and select the class as the communication host class. Click yes, if there is a prompt. You can see the V-Bus automatically took the PC0 as the solution. Now let's go to the clock setup. It's already configured here, so I don't need to do anything. Click save to generate the project. Open the USB host.c file. Here we have different states for the USB, and we need to use them in our project. I will copy this, and the USB handle in the main file. Make sure you define them as the external variable. Let's include the USB CDC.h file, as we need to use some of the functions from there. You can browse the file like this. Here we have maximum limit for the receive buffer. And then we have all these functions, that we will be using in our project. I am going to define a smaller buffer size, since I am only expecting a small data from the device. We have some more variables here. These are the transfer, and the receive buffers. I have defined an CDC type def here, to switch between different states for the CDC. Actually we won't need the send state, I will send, when the host is idle.
Here is the CDC handler. It will switch between different CDC states. If the state is idle, it will stop the CDC, then copy the string into the transfer buffer, and then transmit the data. Here the value will keep changing with every transmit. If the data transmission is successful, the state will change to receive, and the variable will increment. In the receive state, host will receive the data from the device, and store it in the Rx buffer. Here the data size is the size of the Rx buffer, but it will only copy the amount the device is sending. Now we will wait for a second, and switch the state to idle for the next transfer. In the while loop, we will first check if the USB is ready for communication, and if it is, then call the CDC handle for processing the requests. That's all for the host part, now let's create another project for the CDC device. I am using STM32F103C8 controller for the device. Give some name to the project, and click finish. First of all, I am selecting external crystal for the clock. Select this, and serial wire debug. Now select the USB device, and you can see the two pins got selected here. And in the settings, select communication device class, and leave everything to default. Let's configure the clock now. It has already configured it, I will just push it to the max anyway. That's all for the setup, click save to generate the project. Here we will write our code in the USBD, CDC, if.c file. First of all we have to deal with the line coding. As you can see, there are 7 bytes involved here. Let's create a buffer to store these 7 bytes. Now follow me. CDC receive will be called whenever the host sends the data. And in the receive function, we will transmit the same data back to the host. I have defined a new length function because, this function takes 16-bit integer, whereas we have the pointer to a 32-bit integer. Let's build this now. No errors here, so flash it to the board. The flashing is done now. Let's go back to the host code, and debug it.
I am going to put a breakpoint here in the transmit function. Also I have added the Rx buffer to the live expression. Before starting it, let's take a look at the connection. Here you can see, there is a USB connected between the host, and the device. Also the device is not powered from anywhere else, as the host will be responsible to do so. That's basically all for the connection. Let's run it now. It hit the breakpoint, that means the USB is ready for the communication now. It hit again, and now we have received the data from the device. The value in the data is incrementing as well. Let's remove the breakpoint and let it run freely. Seems like it got stuck. Let's reset it and run again. It's working pretty fine now. There seems to be some extra characters along with the data. I don't know where they are coming from. I'll check and update if I make any progress with it. Anyway the code works well for the rest of the part. This is it for this video. I hope you understood the process for both, the host and the device. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching and have a nice day ahead.